Hello artist. Today we're going to draw a unicorn. I thought this looked really cute and I thought you would have fun drawing this project. So today we need paper and something for a black outline if you have it and something to color with. I use watercolor. So let's get started. Okay. I want you to think about where is the center of the paper. Okay, can you put your finger on it? So that'll kind of help us know where to move around. And we're gonna start with the head shape and go around like this. So it's pretty big. I want you to really use your paper well. Okay, I'm gonna do the next shape. And I'm going to do just lightly up here because I know I'm going to go over it in, in my Sharpie. Okay, I'm going to switch over now to Sharpie so you can see it a little bit better as we progress through the other steps. So I'll go ahead and you can use a black crayon or a black pencil. Or if you don't even want to do a black outline, that's fine too. It looks kind of dramatic, so I do a lot of projects with it but you don't have to do that. Okay, now we're gonna add the horn right up here. Can you put your finger right around there where that's gonna go? We're gonna start with a simple shape, kind of like that, but then we wanna have it have that swirling effect. So we're gonna add the black line, some a line like a scallop line like this and then we can come in and, and add these like diagonal lines doesn't that make a good good horn for unicorn and we're gonna give him some ears they're like two upside down U's and unicorns have really pretty hair. So we're going to do some swirls here. On the right side and some swirls on the left side. You can swirl them any way you want them. More than one way to do it. And then on the side, we're going to do some big shapes like this. Almost reminds me of a flame. And on this project, we're going to do the eyes closed. It's kind of fun to do little different things with the eyes or other parts of a face when you draw them. This is like the muzzle of the unicorn. It's, it's close to a horse, so it, it's going to look very similar. We're doing a sideways mouth and a couple little nostrils and a cheek. And that's all on our drawing. We're going to move right on to our painting. And this painting is fun because you can use any colors you want. We're gonna leave the unicorn pure white, so you don't have to do a thing with that. And you might wanna have a couple sizes of brushes if you happen to have them available. And I am gonna start with, let me get my watercolors closer. I'm gonna do a little pink 
cheek and a little pink in the ears. And this muscle, I'm going to do gray. Now, how you make gray is you take black and add some water. It's mostly water, in fact. But a little bit of black in there, and then all of a sudden, you've got a great gray. Okay, now the fun thing about the horn and the hair is they're rainbow colored. Not necessarily in rainbow order. They're just super colorful. Oh, there's one thing extra you can do if you would like. And that would be to split these in half. It gives more places to add color. If those shapes were a little big. And then just come in here and Choose where you want to add your color. Um, just kind of hop around. I like to color while I do all of one color and then I switch to a different color. Let's see, I'll go to green next. Some people like to just do one shape, one color, and then switch to another color. Like that. Takes a lot longer. And sometimes I just like the satisfaction getting a lot of one color in. Trying to kind of balance where I'm putting it. You could even color mix a little bit, if that sounds fun to you. So a big advantage to drawing really big is you have big areas to color in instead of having to color in little teeny areas because you did your drawing really small. So I always like you to draw nice and big. If the color turns out a little bit light, use a little bit less water and more paint and go over it a few times. It'll get darker every time. It's so fun to put the color on. Now you may choose to use crayons or colored pencils or markers, and that would be fine. I think it's so fun to choose the colors. Now we lastly have the background to do. So that's a big area. That's why I like a big brush for that. And that ends up taking the most time probably. But um, it finishes out your picture so pretty. So I encourage you to do that. I'm gonna use some blue. If you're using watercolor, you wanna go pretty fast because it dries very quickly. And if it seems kind of light, just grab some more paint, more water, more paint, and then you can get it more how you want it. And it doesn't take too long to dry. Just try to edge around there, around all 
the main parts. I don't want to get my paint all a big mess in there. I hope you're having fun doing lots of artwork these days. I know I am. I think it is the funnest way to spend a day doing some artwork. Well, there you go. There's my unicorn with a blue background. And there's my unicorn with a pink background. And I hope you have a wonderful time drawing your very own unicorn. Bye-bye.